Good day, merry meet. My name is Glennis and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. I want to warmly welcome you to my channel. I want to thank you so, so much for joining me. This is the second week of working, calling in the elementals. When we decide that if you want to start working with the Fae or the Wee Folk, the elemental that I will be discussing this week are the Sylphs. And I will do my very, very best to describe this as best that I can. Uh, it can get a little bit con convoluted, <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll do my very best. But I can tell you that the difference between calling in the elementals, although they are kind of, kind of on the same realm, but they are so, so incredibly different. Calling in the elementals is working on your inner self. Elementals you seek within yourself. And as I kind of, as the video progresses, it will hopefully become clear. When you call upon the Fae, the We Folk, you call upon them to... I'll, I was going to say play, because some of them are very, very playful. Or if you decide to work with the Fae or the Wee Folk. Now, not all Fae are light, jovial little creatures. So just be mindful of that and carry your protection with you, your mistletoe and your St. John's wart. But just a little bit of word warning there because when when you decide to call these entities in they are not as necessarily what they seem but calling in the elementals again you you're working on your inner self and the elementals are just uh, all of them make up you in totality and I'm hoping that I'm hoping that I explain that properly. The elementals are a higher level of consciousness. And now the elemental of air, the sylphs, aid us in keeping our mind, our spirit, and our intuition open. Because without the elemental of air, the sylph, we will be not as, let's see, how can I say, we will be not as eager to learn new concepts, learn new things in life, meet new people. Um, working with the ele elemental of air, the self, also brings us to kind of fine tuning our intuition. So the more you call in the elementals as they are, no, no matter work, if you work with the Fae or not, calling in the elementals will hopefully, those of you who might be struggling a little bit with your intuition, will fine tune that a little bit. I have been doing this for so, so long that when my intuition tells me something, I do not second guess my intuition. I go with it and it has never, never led me wrong. So there you go. But <laughs> I, I'm, I'm doing my very best guys. But um, now the oil blends that I use, I've got one variation. I have another variation. If you don't have one or the other one, I do have a substitute for. If you don't have that particular oil, then please don't run out and, and buy it because there is a substitute that you very well may have. And then I have another variation that maybe maybe you'll have it and you know certainly you know none of this is written in stone mix and match and do whatever your intuition leads you to 
okay? But what I have burning here, now this is east, for me this is east, uh, and this is how I use this particular oil, or again, you could anoint it. Uh, I have a symbol here that's painted. You could anoint a stone, a wood slab. You could, whatever it is that you're using for East, you can anoint it slightly or lightly. Whatever, whatever works for you. But what I'm burning here today, you guys know I make some of my own essential oils, violet, lavender, lemon, cash put and in that particular oil blend I have a clear quartz crystal. Now some of those you may have and some of those you may not have. Uh, cash put is the same genus as tea tree oil. So if you have the rest of those and you have tea tree oil then that's a, a fine substitute. If you have none of those or if you have maybe one or two then add neroli. Another, another option is neroli, chamomile, clary sage, lemon, lavender, frankincense, and patchouli. And, you, and, if you, and if you feel so inclined, you can put a clear quartz in that too. Whatever works for you. And you may say, well, I don't like uh, lavender or patchouli or whatever. Well, leave it out. Who am I to say what's right and what is wrong with you? But as you prepare to work with the Fae and you start casting your circles, and I'm really hoping that you are waiting for this series to end because last week were the Gnomes, this week are the Sifts, and then we, we will do Fire and then we will do the elemental of water. As we go through these, I will be making one more video and basically putting, trying to put it in perspective, what each element has as far as your spiritual development go, like air is for your intuition. So you can know how you're shoring yourself up and how you are looking at that plane of consciousness and working on that inner energy when you start to work with the Fae. Okay? Um, but when you cast your circle, you may want to say something like, Hail, Sylphs of the East, great creatures of air, I call you to send forth your breezes and join me in my revels, and join me in my circle, whatever you will say, hail and welcome. And you will say basically, kind of, not really, the, <laughs> the, the same thing when you close your circle. You will give them a hail and farewell. Thank you for joining me. I, you know, everything that you've done, I appreciate so much. Make sure you thank, thank, thank them. Okay, and just give them a, a hail and a farewell. I hope that I haven't confused any, any of you too, too much. But again, when this series is over, I will absolutely kind of, as best to my ability, break it down to each individual one and how it deals with your personality and kind of go from there because you you can bring in a lot of inner energy from calling in the elementals i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and thank you again for joining me merry part and i hope to marry meet again goodbye guys